Hello and welcome to a very special episode of I Am Geek. I'm Ryan. Chris and Katrin, they're not here right now. They'll be here later. You'll hear them in a little bit. But I just wanted to set up what you guys are about to hear. We just got back from Comic Palooza that happened in Houston this past weekend. It was their 10th anniversary. And we had a blast. And while we were there, there was a many celebrities running around. And we decided to go on an adventure on the, the, the show floor and see who we could see. And as we were standing there, uh, looking around, I saw out of the corner of my eye someone coming out from the back. He was with his entourage. And it was Ming Chen. If you don't know who Ming Chen is, he is uh, starring on the show AMC's uh, Comic Book Man which, of course, airs on AMC, and he's also the co-host of the podcast, I Sell Comics. Ming Chen's a great guy, and he loves podcasters, and he loves to do whatever he can to help us out. And when he saw us, and he saw us in our I Am Geek t-shirts, he said, hey, you guys a podcast? And we said yes, and he goes, come on over here. Let's do an interview. So that's what you're about to hear, an interview with Ming Chen. Now, it, Ming Chen, now, it was sort of a, at the spur of the moment, so we didn't have all of our equipment set up. So you can hear him really good. You can't really you can sort of hear us in the background, but it's a fun listen, and he sort of gets into podcasting and 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 what it's like and uh, coming up to the ranks, and then talks a little bit about Comic Book Man, which is a great show. Um, it takes place at the secret stash uh, that is owned by Kevin Smith, and so it's a fun episode, uh, maybe a little more adult than what some of our listeners are used to, but we have fun. And it's not that long, so take a listen. And then after this episode, uh, hang out, and the, the next recap episode of Comic Palooza will be coming up where you can hear everything that went on there. We had a blast again. We're hoping that we can go back next year that they will have us. And thank you again for all the listeners that have supported us. Thank you for all the podcasts that have supported us and, and helped us out on this journey. And we look forward to doing so much more. We've only been in this for only a little over a year. And we're doing, we're seeing amazing things happen. And we can't wait to see what happens this year. So without further ado, this is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Man and the podcast I Sell Comics. Enjoy. So first off, thank you. Thank yes, you of for, course. Oh, yeah. Of course. For hanging out. Yeah. Hey, I listen, I'm a podcaster. I know how hard it is to get content. Um you guys are doing the right thing. If you go, go go to a con like this, there's I don't know, like a hundred guests here or something yeah. like that. There's a good chance most of them will talk to you. You know, if they're if you know, and it's uh, middle of the day, and there isn't a big crowd, yeah, just ask. That's cool. Because you know, if you get five minutes with like Ross Marquand, who's yeah. like who's red plays, you know, he's not the Red Skulls in the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. Yeah. You gotta take that chance, man. You gotta take that chance, and he. I, I bet he would do it. He, like, he likes talking to things like this. So, oh, cool. and you know, if they say no, like you know, if they say no, big deal. Then you go and make fun of them on your next podcast. <laughs> you just say, man, like you know, the, that guy, not Ross, but you know, if yeah. they say no, it's like, man, that guy was a dick, man. He wouldn't talk to us. In the end, you know, like you're spreading word about them. You know, yeah. You're giving them press. Everybody wins, and then you know, it helps your podcast. Everybody wins. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's yeah. all I'm saying. That's it's yeah. That's all I'm saying. But, you know, uh, going to event, yeah, everyone's kind of concentrated here. Yeah, go grab the interviews. Don't be afraid to ask. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And again, yeah. if they say no, then, yeah, you go and make fun of them on your podcast. <laughs> that's also content. That's also content. People will start getting the message. There, there will, will be a day where, like, everyone will be, oh, you got a podcast? Like, yeah, come, come interview me. I need to be on your podcast. It's just, it's good for me. It's good for getting me out there, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I love. I, I watch your show. Thank you. All the time. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. They give you a little hard time on there, though. Yeah. I um. I mean, I got I got hired last out of all of them. Uh, I'm younger than them. I like the little brother. The last guy is hired. That, that guy always gets made fun of. Um, I'm sure. I don't know how many guys you have in, on your podcast, your group, but. Yeah, so, so yeah, who's the Ming though? I know one of you is. Who's the uh, Ming? Probably, yeah, yeah, there's always one guy who gets, gets more more crap oh, yeah. than the other ones. I don't know a whole lot about comic books and, yeah. and characters and different things, so I always say the wrong things. Right. So it's like they're always yeah, you know, they're waiting for you. Waiting for they're me. waiting yeah. for you to so, screw yeah. up. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then when they do, they pounce all yeah. over you. Yeah, yeah. It's that's great. that's what it's Brian great. Johnson does. He's <laughs> like he's a sniper. He's waiting for you just just cross just walk through those crosshairs. Yeah. 
And then bam, headshot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam. Yeah, I've been getting yeah, a lot of flack keep, today. Yeah, we keep making fun them because the Cusack brothers. Yeah. Because the Cusack brothers are going to be there. What, bro- like, what, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. What brothers? <laughs> Henry Cusack. Henry Cusack. Ian. Oh, Henry yeah. Cusack. He <laughs> no. Cusack. Yeah, John. He's like, they're brothers. Yeah. Oh, they're oh God. Now. That'd be kind of a super team, but yeah. I would, would, I would awesome. I'd watch a movie with both of them. In it. I would, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, Better Off Dead 2 with oh. Henry and Cusack. Okay. You know, you must ski the K-12 again, brother. That needs to happen. Yeah. They could do a sequel to 10 feet not, not Lloyd Dobler's boat. Yeah, it'd be awesome. I would totally watch that. I would totally watch it. Cameron Crowe, get on that. I would want yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite John Cusack movie? John Cusack? Yes, John Cusack. John Cusack. Yes. Um, what is the one where he's holding the radio up? Oh my God! You don't know the name? Are you serious? Were you are you like a Mormon or something? No. Okay. He falls asleep during movies. All of them? Pretty much all of them. Oh my God. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say, I hardly wait, but I was like, that's not it. Oh my God, we would have. Oh God, even I would have made fun of you. That's what's her name? Freaking Jennifer Love Hewitt, Seth Green. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all right. But it was, it was I'm a better similar off name, thing. not similar. Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, Savage Steve Holland is a genius. Oh, I love Better Off Dead. I, um, I don't know if he's still with us. I think he's still alive. I wish he would just go back and start making that those kind of movies yeah. again. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for that, that a movie like that again. For you know, for for the you know, for 2018. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Everything else is coming back around. Why not Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, he kind of kicked off that whole, you know, they made it dirtier in American Pie and all those teen comedies of the 90s. But, yeah, I truly, I think he started it, though, where, you know, kind of absurd situations, claymation burgers, and, you know, just lost loves, but, you know, told in a, in a, in a humorous way. Yeah. So, yeah, we're ready for more of that, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. okay, so this is you hooked all the you hooked all this shit up. Yeah. You have nothing. You got nothing. So, Dang man, how many episodes do you guys got? Fifty-seven. All right, that's good. All right, that means yeah, you're consistent, you. consistent. Yeah. And um, you know the the one thing that kills podcasts is just uh, unreliable co-hosts. Unreliable one guy, like you know, I don't know, he breaks up with his girlfriend or or you know, my brother, so he's stuck with. Me. Okay, yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. just, you know, you guys commit to podcasting once a week at least? Is that, okay. I come on to make sure he's just keeping his vanity for the most part. All right. He's a stay-at-home dad, so he's got Oh, yeah. The, oh, dude, to. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> talk to adults every now and then. I couldn't do it. That's tough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. That's Yeah, that's cool. I think podcasting is one of the best things. That, uh, yeah. one, of the, one of the best things existing right now. Literally, and uh, I'm gonna give myself a little plug here, if I may. Uh, yeah, right Mike uh, Zaptic and I, uh, Mike Zaptic from Comic Book Man, we just opened up a podcast studio oh, cool. right down the street from the store. Oh, cool. uh, it's called the Shared Universe Podcast Studio. Shared Universe, in reference to uh, you know all of our kind of podcast subjects and universes kind of coming together as one. Um, it's also in reference to you know just comic book universes, sharing universes and coming together as one. You know, kind of like the Avengers or any of the crossovers. But uh, yeah, it's a recording studio just for podcasting. That's cool. So we rent it out by the hour. We we hold classes in there. Uh, we we have a lot of first timers coming in, never podcasted before, and we put them at ease. And we go for however long they want to go to, typically an hour or so. And by the time they walk out, they have a podcast up on iTunes. It's it's a cool thing. So I want to do one here in Houston, man. I would love to yeah, open yeah, one up. I city. see uh, even just here at this con, there's so many podcasters here. And I know there are more people that want to do it. So, uh, you know, we don't just welcome welcome new podcasters, but experienced people as well that just need a place to podcast. So I don't know where you guys do yours, but... <laughs> we, we do that at our homes. Like, yeah. I, I live in Dallas. I'm okay. Here. We're, on, we're on Skype, and then I have a recorder. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I find, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, they don't want to gather at their houses. It's messy, or, you know, you, I know you have kids or whatever. It's not quiet enough. So it's nice to have a, a cool location for people to record a podcast. And, um, like, all the stuff we collect here at cons, put that all up on the walls. It looks like a pop culture emporium. And so when people come in, they're like, whoa, man, like, you have a, a metal capsule made from vibranium, and you have lightsabers. And you have like you know Star Wars posters on my Carrie Fisher like this is cool like I wanna I wanna hang out here I'm like good you just paid for an hour you have to hang out here for an hour 
and I think it immediately puts them at ease, though. So, yeah. and it and it's been working really well. So, we're uh, we're open to take over the country with this concept. Yeah. And, um, and open up. So when we do open up in Houston, I want I you know I invite you guys to come down Definitely. and oh, you know, record several episodes at least. Yeah. So, of I Am Geek. Uh, the show for the geek in all of us, everybody. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, it's at ashareduniverse.com. And yeah, very reasonable rates. And uh, right now we're up in Jersey, but we hope to be everywhere. So. That's cool. Yeah, if I had, if I had uh, you know, if I had my, my say, um, there would be one in Houston. Uh, where, geez, where would I open it? Probably around here, maybe downtown. I need parking. Yeah. But I would, you know, I would, I would open up around here, like maybe like down the street, for like Neil's Bar or something, you know, in this neighborhood. So yeah, we, you know, we go all podcast and go get a drink over at Neil's or something. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Or actually, no, inside Neil's Bar would be oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, inside <laughs> there would be cool. Yeah, because I just be like Neil, I need more. I need two more uh, Eighth Wonder rocket fuels. And you could just slide them through like a little window. That would be Perfect. amazing. That yeah. would be amazing. Make the podcast very interesting. Yes. Oh yeah, well I mean, we do. We have free beer. You know, yeah, we uh, we got a we got a beer sponsor. It's a company called Ross Brewing. They're a local brewery, and yeah, we we have. We, I got to buy a kegerator. And, yeah, we have free beer, everybody. So like, yeah, yeah. You know, what other? Where else can you podcast and get free beer? I don't know of any. I don't. I do not know of this place. So, so yeah. So is there anything to look forward to on Comedy? Uh, well, we just finished our seventh season, so we're hopefully looking forward to like a million more seasons. So, I hope so. yeah, because I really, I really like doing it. So, but the uh, the last episode that aired, we all got our own Funko Pop figures. Oh, nice. uh, I know you can't see this, uh, but you can imagine it. They're right in front of you guys, and um, yeah, I'm trying to move all set. They're very rare, and as such, uh, you know, they're kind of expensive. But um, I know there's a, I know there are collectors out there that that really want these. So, they really captured their essence. I think they got me. I think they got me pretty well. Uh, the hair, the hair, they captured the hair very well. Yeah, and, and the height. I'm about that tall. So deadness of the eyes. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's probably one of the cooler things that we've got to do on comic yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. No problem, man. No problem. You better tag me when you post this. Oh, we will. Okay, done. Done. All right. I am geek, everybody. I am geek. Cool. <laughs> and there you go, everybody. That was Ming Chen, and we had a great time uh, with them at Comic Palooza. Remember, check us out on Twitter at I Am Geek Show. On Facebook, you can find us I Am Geek. You can find us on our, our group I Am Group Spreadshirt. You can find us at uh, shop.spreadshirt.com forward slash I Am Geek. Feel free to email us anytime at I Am Geek Show at gmail.com and find us on YouTube. I am Geek Show. We had some videos, some live streams from Comic Palooza that you want to check out on there. But stay tuned because our wrap up episode is coming up very shortly. It may already be up. Just click on the next episode. You know you want to. Click, like, share, subscribe, do all those things. We do this for you. This is the show for the geek and all of us. I am Geek. Talk to you real soon, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>